Welcome to VM Wealth Money Moves, your weekly roundup of the market movements that matter. On the equity market, on Wednesday, December 4th, the Jamaica Stock Exchange listed its first e commerce group, MailPack. The stock was listed at $1 its offer price, but the demand was strong since the IPO was heavily oversubscribed. MailPack sold 20% of their company to the public and raised $495 million, most of which will be used to repay a debt to its parent company, Norbrook Equity Partners. On its first day, MailPack traded as high as $1.31. On the money market, last week's 30-day CD saw the BOJ offering $9 billion. The offer was oversubscribed by $13.7 billion from 50 bids. 30 of these bids were successful, and the average yield for successful bids was 0.97%. On the bond market, trade war woes continue to disrupt the bond market last week. On Monday, December 2nd, officials from Beijing indicated that they want to cancel the Phase 1 trade deal because President Trump signed legislation in support of the protests in Hong Kong. Additionally, Trump indicated that he will be reinstating the tariffs on steel and aluminium from Argentina and Brazil, as he believed that these countries are currency manipulators. The news caused investors to be risk-off, lending to the decrease in the yield of the 10-year Treasury. By December 4th, there was noticeable optimism in the market, following news that the US and China have agreed to avoid tariffs, which were to be implemented in December. Investors were risk on, which led to the US 10-year yield increasing by six basis points to close at 1.77% on that day. On the foreign exchange market, activity in the foreign exchange market has been relatively weak since the injection by the BOJ of 90 million US dollars. End users have been missing in the market, resulting in a downturn of activities. The weighted average selling rate closed on December 4th at $134.95, indicating a year to date depreciation of $6.45. Contact your VM Wealth Advisor before you make your next money move. Email wealthinfo at myvmgroup.com.